Australia. Whenever the origins of British radar are discussed, the name that usually comes to mind is that of Robert Alexander Watson Watt. One of his backroom boys, Arnold Wilkins, played a crucial part in this discovery. But he's not well known, he's not included in our dictionaries of national biography, and he deserves recognition. Watson Watt was working in radio, radio he was head of the National Radio Laboratory and um, he was approached by the Air Ministry in 1935 to ask if radio waves could somehow be used to incapacitate the pilots of attacking enemy aircraft. Watson Watt discussed this problem with Arnold Wilkins and Wilkins thought it wasn't really feasible but he went away and did some calculations to prove it wasn't. When he handed the results to Watson Watt he was despondent and he said, how then can we help them? Wilkins replied, radio waves might well be capable of detecting enemy aircraft. That was the eureka moment. With his reply, Arnold Wilkins suggested the concept of radar. Wilkins went away and did further calculations to show that his idea of detecting aircraft was entirely feasible. Watson Watt wrote these calculations up in a famous memo called The Detection and Location of Aircraft by Radio Methods. But the memo carried only Watson Watt's name and excluded the name of Arnold Wilkins. When they received the memo at the Air Ministry, there was both interest and a little scepticism, most notably expressed by Air Marshal Sir Hugh Dowding, who believed that scientists could prove anything with figures. Dowding was a practical man, and if he was going to support something, he wanted a demonstration. The task was given to Arnold Wilkins. So Wilkins came here to this field near Daventry, to set up some equipment, a couple of dipoles, aerials, and some detection equipment. The RAF provided a aircraft that flew across the site, and using the and using the uh, BBC Daventry transmitter as a source of um, radio, where shortwave radio, Wilkins was clearly able to demonstrate to the satisfaction of the Air Ministry observers that detection of aircraft by radio was possible. Dowding immediately ensured massive funding for uh, the construction of a defence system for the British Isles on the strength of Wilkins' experiment. That defence system was came in incredibly important in only five years later, in 1940, during the attempted aerial invasion of the British Isles from Europe. It was radar coupled with fighter control and some extremely brave fighter pilots that defended our island against a Nazi invasion. You would think that someone who had contributed so much would be fully recognized as a national hero. But in fact, when you look on the web, or in the history books, or in our dictionaries of national biography, it's very hard to find any mention of Arnold Wilkins. The discovery is solely attributed, attributed solely to Robert Watson Watt. This is most unfortunate. Wilkins deserves to be a national hero. The only place Wilkins is formally acknowledged for his contribution is here on this small B road that runs from Lichborough in that direction to Northampton in that direction. There's a commemorative stone that was placed there eight years ago. Today is the 75th anniversary of Arnold Wilkins' experiment here at Daventry.